Hey girlies, welcome back. I've got another Abercrombie try on haul for you. I've got a huge box behind me that was delivered yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and try everything on. I'm going to put together some spring outfits for you as well. So I will put the number of the outfit like somewhere on the screen and then you can shop accordingly down below. As I'm filming this, there's a big Abercrombie sale going on. So I will also put the sale details down below. But if you're watching this outside of the dates, head to my Instagram. I post every day on Instagram if there's an Abercrombie sale going on and if there's a current promo code. And a lot of times there are codes or sales during the weekend. Sometimes they start on Thursday. They can go through Monday or Tuesday. So just always good to check in with my Instagram because I keep you guys up to date over there. Um, I have been sick this week. If I sound a little nasally or anything like that. My nose is super dry. You'll just know I spent most of the week in my bed, but I'm feeling much better. If you're new, my name is Carrie. Welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe and let's get into the haul. I know that in this order, I think I ordered like four pairs of shorts. Um, and right now it's a really good time to buy shorts if you're watching this during the sale dates. Um, but again, there's always going to be sales, but I do find that Abercrombie's shorts can sell out pretty quickly. So you kind of want to buy them earlier than you're going to need them. And in Florida, you know, we can wear shorts all year round. Um, I'm really excited because I picked up these loose shorts. And if you guys have been following me, you know that I love the loose jeans. They're currently my favorite pair of jeans. Um, and on that note, I'm going to do a whole video just on the loose jeans and I'm going to compare them to the 90s relaxed jeans because there's a lot of similarities, but I'm going to talk about why I like the loose jeans better. Um, so I, of course, had to try out the loose shorts. I got them in a size 24. I wanted to get a 24 and a 25 to compare, but the 25s were already gone. So I'm not sure what will be in stock right now, but again, it'll all be linked down below and you can favorite anything that isn't available in your size. I got this wash. I'm all about no distressing, no rough edges in my closet, probably from here on out. We'll see if things change. Um, so I got this wash, but there is another wash that I think was distressed more like a medium wash that was distressed. So there is another option if you want that. My favorite um, pairs of Abercrombie shorts are the dad shorts. I have a pair from, I believe last year, um, that I still wear all the time. I think it was last year that I um, decided to get 25s in my dad shorts instead of 26s. So all the ones that I did buy today are 25. Everything is curve love. I get asked a lot if something is curve love, curve love or not. Everything I buy from Abercrombie is curve love. Um, that just works better for my body. If it's not curve love, then I probably bought it by mistake. Um, but I wanted a new pair of black ones, so I got the... My other favorite pair of Abercrombie shorts are the Mom 4-inch inseam. Um, but it doesn't look like they came out with them this year, at least not yet. And I'm not a fair fan of the regular Mom shorts. For whatever reason, I've tried them multiple years and I don't like them. So I don't think I'm going to try them this year. Um... But if they come out with the four inch inseam, I will share those again. So here's the dad shorts again. These are a little bit different, but I don't know. I thought they were kind of cool. So it's white denim with just light denim at the top. I saw that they also came out with jeans like this. I feel like the shorts are cuter, but we'll see how they look on. Guys, I didn't even curl my hair today. It has gotten so long. I just blew it dry. Um, I'm getting it done a week from today. Like I'm filming this on a Friday. I'm getting it done next Friday. I'm so excited. I'm going to cut off like all of this deadness. It just needs to be revitalized. I think I usually get my hair done every nine weeks, but on my last appointment back in, I want to say like early November, I didn't make my next appointment and the place I go is so busy. So I feel like I almost spent like an extra month this time and I don't get it cut every time and it's just gotten so long. 
Um, so if you feel like you're like, gosh, Carrie, your hair's looking stringy, just realize that I realize that. And then I've got these dad shorts. Um, oh my gosh. Like if you guys saw, I don't know. I do so many Abercrombie trans, but I recently bought dark denim jeans. So I was so excited when I saw that they did the dad shorts in dark denim with no distressing. I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to have those. I just feel like this dark denim is so sharp. So hopefully all of those are still fitting the same because I got them all in the same size. I think that was all of the shorts that I got. Let's see what else is in here. If this part bores you, you can just fast forward to the outfits part, but I don't know. I like to kind of switch it up. So, oh, these are a pair of loose jeans. So I got them in, I don't know, they're a cream color. Who knows what they're calling them? But they have these like buttons in the front, which if you unbutton it, the waist gets bigger. And I feel like that's so cool because for me, if anything, the waist is always too big for me. And so I've been ordering my loose jeans in a 24, but I got these in a 25. Um, I don't know, maybe the 24s were out of stock or I might've done it because it's a lighter color and I kind of like it because now I can see if the 25 with the buttons fit the same as the 24s, you know what I mean? So that'll be kind of a cool comparison, something a little different. I have a bunch of leggings in here too. Um, because, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Um, yeah, so in my last haul, I tried on a pair of the Abercrombie YPB Sculpt Lux leggings because I got a request on Instagram to compare them to the Lululemon Align. And, um, I didn't like how they fit. I think I got a small curve love and they just, it's, oh, there was like a really bad camel toe. That's right. But I think it may be because it was too much material. I don't know, but I bought three more options. So that's not a pair of leggings. Maybe I only bought two more options. I bought more options. I did like the non curve love in a small, and then I did the curve love in an extra small. Maybe that's what I did. I'm kind of thinking I might make this its own video of just trying on the different Abercrombie leggings and then comparing them to my Lululemon. Other thing that I thought was leggings. Oh, I think this is a bodysuit. I ordered, this is, the, there was a lot of stuff in here. Um, so I got this like ruched bodysuit. I don't know if you can see. It's like a netting material. It's definitely like a dressier bodysuit and just trying to see what's going on. I don't think there's any zipper. It just buttons at the bottom. Um, yeah, there's a couple layers of lining. I, I got it in a small, I think it maybe came in like a neutral color too, but I don't know. I love black bodysuits. I just wanted to see how this looked on and thought it would be um, like a little bit of a dressier option. And what else do we have? Okay, these are a pair of black shorts. I think, um, I think these are like the Sloan shorts because I, I hate that a lot of times it's not on the tag. They're ultra high rise, they're curve loves. I got a 25. I want to say they're like the Sloan pants that I love, um, just in a short version. And I don't have like a nice black like trouser short, and I feel like this is such a staple piece. So I got those. I'm currently wearing an Abercrombie sweat set. This was from a previous try on. I love it. I've already worn the sweatshirt out. Um, but with joggers because it was cooler, but I have the shorts for when I want to wear the set like this. Um, but then I, honestly, this is called like the shrunken Sunday sweatshirt. It has no pockets. Uh, it has a hood. It's cropped. But if you wear something high-waisted, you're not going to see a lot of skin. I loved it so much when I wore it last weekend that I immediately went online and bought another color. So this is, I thought it was going to be black, but honestly, it's very like charcoal gray. Ooh, which I have a pair of joggers this color, the cargo sweatpants. So that could be really cute together. Um, but either way, I just, I love it. I really do want every color of this. I totally went and curled my hair because it was driving me nuts, but I did the quickest like five minute curl, if that. 
just to give the hair a little bit of a vol volume so it wasn't hanging down in case you're wondering. But for outfit number one, I put on the bodysuit. I love it, guys. It fits absolutely perfectly. Um, when you step into it, it's going to feel kind of snug pulling it up, but then it just fits so well. These straps are not adjustable, um, and it just snaps at the bottom, and the small is absolutely perfect. I went ahead and paired it with this pink squirt. Remember, this is my last haul. It's back in stock, guys. So if you missed it, I think it was back in stock by the time that video went up. But as of right now, it's fully stocked in the pink, the cream, even the black is fully stocked right now, and then the white pinstripe one. So, so good. Great little Valentine's Day squirt. Obviously, like, unless you went to the store... Unless you went to the store, you wouldn't get the score in time. But if you have it, here's a little inspo. Um, I just have on a little black heel. I can never tell if you guys can, like, see my feet. Um, but, yeah, just a little black heel. So cute. And then I think I'm just going to add, like, a blazer if we wanted a layer. Here's the look with my Abercrombie blazer. I love this blazer. It's a classic piece that I just feel like is timeless. I know blazers like oversized then cropped like the styles will kind of change but just like a classic blazer like this. I just I love it. I have it in neutral and like a pinky color. I don't know but like a black one is so good. They always have some sort of version of this out. So I will link whatever is available, but I get it in a size small. It does have shoulder pads, and I just feel like it's the perfect, it's just the perfect layer if it is your style. So yeah, so here's outfit number one. But if you have the skirt, just honestly pair it with any black pieces you have. Like the pink and the black look so good together. These are two pieces from last week's haul, but I don't know if I put them on together, but like how cute is this striped sweater with the pink score. I just feel like it looks so good. And then I have on my black platform like boots that I'm obsessed with. Um, I was on the fence if I was gonna keep this sweater because I don't know, I had another one. I wasn't sure if I liked the neck, but in watching back the clips, like I love it. I'm definitely keeping it. And I really like how it looks with the pink. So I just had to show you guys quickly. Outfit, super casual. I put on the little cropped zip up in like the dark charcoal color. And then these are the dad shorts in the dark wash. They are so good guys. Like they're the perfect wash. They're the perfect fit. Um, size 25. Like they are so so good um and then I just put on some neutral sneakers but this is just such this is such a me outfit um I don't have a shirt underneath but like obviously I usually I would like a little crop top or fitted bodysuit but like I love I love this sweatshirt I think I'm gonna see what other colors they have in a small because it is just so good the guys my battery made it that long but here are the sweatpants um i've had these for a while they're cargo they're very they're supposed to be oversized so these are small um but they probably fit more like a medium i would say because all of my other sweatpants from abercrombie are not this big and they're all smalls so you can either stick true to size and they're gonna be oversized which is how they're supposed to fit or you can size down if you don't want them to be this snug um I feel like the grays are the same at first I thought the sweatshirt was darker but it could also just be that the pants have been washed and the sweatshirt hasn't so yeah I'm like happy I have this set uh the sweatpants can be worn like that or if you flip them then you get the drawstring and you can tie that so it's kind of just whatever is your preference but super comfy comfy look and the sweatpants are still available in like quite a few quite a few colors here are the loose I keep wanting to say loose jeans because that's what I have I have so many pairs of but these are the loose shorts which because I love the loose jeans so much absolutely wanted to try these out so I got these in a 24 I was going to get a 25 to compare but they didn't have them available and honestly I think the 24s are good so I would probably say size down. In the loose jeans, I have 24 and 25. And honestly, both sizes fit. They just fit a little bit differently, honestly. Or they just fit a little bit differently, obviously. 
but I think these 24s are, I think they're perfect. Like they fit my waist perfectly. Um, the rise is just perfect. They're a little bit on the longer side, generally. Um, I have to see what, I'm not sure what the inseam is on these, but they do, they do seem to be a little bit longer than I, there's just buzz. They seem to be a little bit longer than what I would usually wear, but I, I mean, I like them. What do you guys think? I purposely put on a crop top with these jeans because I want you guys to really be able to see them to give me your honest opinion. So these are the loose jeans that had that little button detail I showed you in the beginning. And honestly, like the jeans themselves are so cute. Like, I don't know. Some of you might think this part is weird. I think it's super cute, but I have the part buttoned and they're still pretty big in the waist. So I would be really curious to see how the 24s would fit. I'm going to go ahead and check the site and just kind of keep checking this weekend and order the 24s if I can just to compare because I would never undo this part. Oh, wow. So you can do it. Wow. There's like two buttons. So look, guys, you could undo like two or you could bring in one or two. Wow. Okay. So... Yeah, it's kind of nice, but I almost feel like you want to buy smaller and then be able to make them bigger. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just, I do think they're cute. I don't know. I know this part might look weird, but I, I feel like they're high-waisted. I feel like they're really cute with a crop top. I just threw on this, like, tweed crop top I've had from Abercrombie forever. I love it. And some slides. I didn't, like, super style them since they're not the right fit but then at the same time I'm like I don't know should they just be so many girls I noticed do you wear like their jeans are big in the waist I feel like I always want mine to like fit my waist perfectly and maybe that's just an opinion so you guys let me know what you think but I'm definitely going to order the 24s if I can but hold on to these so that I can do a side-by-side -side comparison to another pair of dad shorts I have the black ones on again in a size 25 I do have to say that these feel like they're fitting more snug than my pair I bought last year I just checked to make sure mine from last year are 25s and they are and these feel snugger so it could also just be that these haven't been worn and like I'll wear my denim shorts multiple times before I wash them like all denim you're supposed to wear a lot you're not supposed to like wash it a lot so it might be that these will snug out but I also feel like year to year Abercrombie sizing changes um so I feel like that's why you guys watch these videos because you're just like oh my gosh I don't know what size to order but um I, the 25 is still good they just fit snugger so just take that into account um for this outfit I put on the same pearl cardigan but in this light gray I believe the light gray was still available I love this I bought these cardigans I think in the fall time but they're so great for spring right because of the pearl I do get them in an extra small but all my sizing I always put down below for you guys and then I just put on my Dior slides just really cute spring little outfit something else that was in the giant box a black belt so you guys know I've been slowly getting a belt collection um, even though I've yet to wear one it's it's weird but before I had belts there were times I wish I did so it's just gonna be good to have them and I didn't have a black one yet so I got this black one Abercrombie belts always sell out really quickly um, for whatever reason so I got this black one it comes in a cream and a brown but you can see what's available. I get it in an extra, extra small slash extra small because the last one I got from Abercrombie, that was the size I needed. So I figure let's just put it on. It might be hard for you guys to see with the black shorts, but let's just see how it looks. I'm assuming it's gonna be good. It is skinny and it's different. So the cream one I got had the oval buckle and this one has a square. I like the idea of having different ones. Actually, yeah, this is good. I have it on the third hole, third hole from the tightest, and that fits really good. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I wore the belt with the shorts, it would just to be to like add the look. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys, do you guys wear belts? I feel like I don't 
I don't really pay attention to how often I notice people wearing belts, but just good to have. And I like don't need to have a designer belt. I'm not feeling that at the, if I don't even, if I, there's an item I don't even wear, like I'm not going to go buy a designer one. Cause I do feel like I see like Hermes belts or at least online, maybe not in real life. And then it's totally like, don't wear Gucci anymore. Like Gucci's out. It's just, it's funny. Wear what you want, but I really like this black one. So if you are looking for a belt and you, um, if you wear like a 24, 25, 26, then you're probably going to need this extra, extra small slash extra small. Switched out the dad shorts for these like trouser shorts, I guess I would call them. I love them guys. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. I want to say they're the Sloan shorts, but I will link down below exactly what they are because sometimes I'm just looking at so many different things, but I got these in a 25. They are curve love. They're ultra high rise. They just fit so good. A um, little bit of an elastic waistband back there and I, I love them. I just have on the same sweater, put on some um, just the little black heels again, but they looked good with the Dior slides as well. And I just love them. I still have this crop top on, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you, um, what it looks like. And like, obviously with this sweater, you could wear it open. I like the look of having the sweater look like a top. It doesn't necessarily look good open with the tweed, but here's the shorts with the top just so you can get a better idea. And like, this is a crop top, but these are ultra high rise. So you see very little skin. They, hit, they fit very high up, but they're not, I don't think they're too short. I feel like they're the perfect length. Now I'm obsessed with this pink sweater. I wear it. Well, I wear it a lot of times in videos. I do wear it in real life, but I feel like I'm wearing it a lot in videos. Um, these are the last pair of dad shorts. They're the two-tone look, so that's why I kind of wanted to see how they look with the pink. I have the crop top on still, so I've got the sweater tucked up into there, which the crop top's not like tight enough to really hold it, but you still get the idea. I feel like the pink looks really good. Obviously like body suits. There's a lot of different ways I could play around with styling these shorts, but I was just kind of going for, I don't know. See, like if I leave it out in the back, you just see basically as if they're like white or cream shorts. I, I'm not even sure which they're supposed to be, but then that is what it looks like in the back. So you could totally just play around with it. I could also do like something I don't know I like the crop up better or if I left it out you wouldn't even see the blue part so it's kind of like two shorts in one because it could look like you just have a pair of neutral shorts on no one's ever going to see this or you can wear something fitted or tucked in and then you've got the blue showing so kind if you think about it when you're packing for a trip, right, and we always want to try to, like, make multiple outfits from less pieces, it's, like, always the thing. If you have shorts or, I guess, the jeans like this, it's kind of like having two things in one. I don't know. It works. I think it works. Um, I like them. And, okay, like, I feel like they're not as tight as the black ones because I was worried with how snug the black ones felt. I was kind of afraid to put these on because they're a lighter color, but they don't feel as snug. So it probably just means that like these have been tried on and the black ones haven't. This is the sweatshirt I had on in the beginning. And as you saw, I had it, I had it paired with the matching shorts. So I wanted to get sweatpants that were the same color so that I would have sweatpants or sweat shorts options to go with this zip up. And I got them an extra small. I'm not sure if I did that because the small wasn't available or I've kind of just been wanting to try the extra small because sometimes it just feels like the sweatpants are so baggy. But I have to say that these, I don't like them in the extra small. Like they're not supposed to, like sweatpants aren't supposed to be fitted on your bum like that. So I'm going to hope that they have these in small and order them. Oh, and in the, the loose jeans, the cream ones, I... They did have 24, so they're already in my carts. So they'll be coming and we'll do a comparison, but I'll hold on to those. But these, yeah, I think I'm just going to take these back and get a small. I don't, if, if it's available. But I love these sweatpants. I have them in other colors. I just, I've never tried the extra small before. Um, and then I just paired the set with my light pink Lululemon slides online and saw that my other Abercrombie belt is fully stocked again. So... 
just have to keep an eye out because I feel like when I first shared it, it was already gone. Um, so here it is. It's oval, as you can see. And both belts come in the same three colors, cream, cream, black, and brown. And I think, hold on. To see if they're the same width. Okay, so the black one, which is the square, um, is a little bit thicker, barely, but it's a little bit wider than the cream one, just so that you would know. And then that is like the hardware difference, but really good belts, good deal, especially with whenever their sales going on. And the sizing on them, though, it is it's extra, extra small slash extra small and then it'll be I guess small slash medium I don't know but if you're close to my size get the extra extra small slash extra small that's a mouthful so that's everything for today's video I decided that I'm gonna hold off on the leggings and just have them be their own separate video I did end up finding another pair in the box so I had three pairs um, that came in this box plus the pair from last week. So I'm going to do a video trying on all four pairs and then comparing them to my Align leggings. I think it'll be better to have that be a separate video. I'm actually going to go ahead and just film it right now. So you should be seeing it tomorrow, Monday, if all goes according to plan. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow or next time. <laughs> Bye.